Hello everyone, Adam F6B Adventures here. I ride a 2022 Honda Goldwing and I record all of my trips and throw them up on YouTube. If you're into motorcycles, hockey, or any sort of adventure, you're at the right place. Hopefully you guys ride safe and maybe I'll see you guys down the road. See ya. All right, well, let me stop dancing and get on this bike. You guys wanted a video, let's start it. Enjoy the video, guys. If you missed yesterday's video, we went back to Chicago, went up the Willis Tower, and took a whole bunch of pictures. Boom, 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 boom. And even one with my celebrity crush. What? Don't judge. My mom did one more bucket list item. What do you think? Tell us a joke right now. I just want to take out from Texas and everything I say is going to get a little spicy, a little different, things you might not have heard of. But this is my third thing on my bucket list. Like I said, we went to the top of Willis Tower, all the way to the 103rd floor. That puppy was high up there. We got to take in a full view of the city. Look, that's the Chicago River right there. And no, that's not the ocean over there. That's Lake Michigan. We finally made it to the front of the line where the ledge was and it was scary i don't know about you but i didn't think my mom would do it after a few seconds of encouragement she finally did small steps baby steps whatever it took she did it and we took this cool picture look at this look at her hands she was shaking like a leaf well we were done with that so we had to go get food and boy was it good we went back to the car and had a bit of a sticker shock that was for parking. We tried going to the bean, but this is as close as we got. It's the bean right there, okay? Okay. And after our expedited visit with the bean, we took off on our way down Route 66 from the beginning. Let's do it. Woo! We stopped at many different places, but ended our night in Springfield, Illinois, the land of Lincoln. Well, now that you're all caught up, let's go on to the current video. See you guys. So we woke up bright and early and went to breakfast. So mom, what do you think of this place? Oh, this is cool. This is nice, it's real nostalgic. These old cars, all the stuff signed. We started off the morning right with a good breakfast at the Route 66 Hotel and Conference Center. They had free breakfast included with the room. My mom was very impressed by the portions. I had no idea what we were going to do here in Springfield, but I know it's the land of Lincoln. We can't come to Springfield without seeing at least two things. Thing number one. Before we went to bed the night before, there was a Lincoln thing. It was like the world's largest rail splitter and it had Abraham Lincoln on it. So I was like, hey, we're here, let's do it. I've always heard that rubbing his nose brings good luck, but what about his chin? See, even Mama F6B got into it. Rub his chin, get rid of the sin however the thing goes something like that we didn't know if we wanted to wait to go inside but for 15 minutes i don't know about you but i'd rather wait so we did it was kind of cool to know that three of his four kids and his wife were buried behind this tomb or behind this wall and that his fourth son was actually buried at the Arlington Cemetery in DC due to the choice by that gentleman's wife. Kind of cool. And if you're curious if he's actually up there where the drapes are, no, he's three feet behind the wall and 10 feet below the wall, covered in 10 feet of concrete. Well, Mama F6B, what did you think? I think that's very interesting. I think things you don't know and just like the little, little details of like Abraham Lincoln's one fist is for it's clenched, like for defense, and the other one is open for offensive. I think it's interesting how his flag is draped behind him. He's saying like basically, I'll protect the flag at whatever cost. Mm -hmm. One foot forward, like and moving forward, one foot back, saying, stand my ground. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's very oh, yeah. interesting. We were done with Lincoln's tomb, and it was time to hit the road. Let's go. I think this place has a weird fascination with elephants on trailers. Well, whatever. After the 30 minute detour, we made it back to our hotel 
and headed south. We saw these signs and knew we were in the right place. On the GPS, we knew we had to go down Route 66, through Litchfield, then on to St. Louis. So let's go. In this next scene, I wanted to see how many times my mom would sing the song without getting mad. Another thing is, we still have our heads held high. Every time we have a bad day or a bad moment, we just sing the song. Get your fix. Ah, see? Get your kicks on Route 66. And if we get mad again or just have like some issues, we just sing it again. Get your kicks on Route 66. And again, get your kicks on Route 66. One more time, yeah, yeah. Get your kicks on Route 66. And yeah, and you know, if at any time one of us uh, has an issue, we just sing the song. Get your kicks on Route 66. And when we see a sign, we sing the song. Get your kicks on Route 66. And when we see a cow, we sing, Get your kicks on Route 66. Where do you see a cow? And when we don't see a cow, we sing the song. Oh, uh, wait. You see a sign? Right, you gotta turn left here. And when we don't see a oh, cow. Turn left. And when we're lost, get your kicks on <laughs> Route 66 because I'm getting my kicks on route 66 like we said mom what do we do when we see the sign get, get your, your kicks on route 66 we get our kicks on route 66 as we know we're getting our kicks on route 66 and every time we battle with the wind what do we sing get your kicks on route 66 because we got our kicks on, on route 66. Why don't you put any more charisma in it? Get your kicks on route 66. <laughs> there you go. Well, after 14 times singing the song, we're trying to figure out where do we get our kicks? Do we go left or do we go right? Normally the sign would have an arrow saying, hey, turn left or turn right. But this was just, hey, go which whatever way you want to go. So we went left. We later figured out that the left-hand turn took us down this super old route. This is like the 1920s route, something. Well, I had to back up and pick up my camera woman. I got a little place in Texas if you want to go. You want to go? Sure. Well, let's go. Hey, I'm singing. Each and every time, I'm singing. All right, give me your best one. Get your kicks on route. 66. I guess. <laughs> I always say it just goes like this. Get your kicks on route. 66. No pizzazz. 66. 66. After many miles going down Route 66, I finally came into known territory, Litchfield, Illinois, home of the Winged Rider Rally. And you know where we had to go. Nihau Cycles. Had to leave my mark here at Knee House. Boom. I'm gonna rip this one off. Look at this. Who's this guy? Get him out of here. No, I'm just kidding. You can stay there, Chris. I ended up stopping there to go buy a bag for my Alaska trip. What do I need more storage for? I don't know. For all the souvenirs, I guess. Look at all the accessories they have on the wall. Holy guacamole. Well, since we did not have a paper map, we decided to stop in here. The Route 66. Welcome, sign. Luckily, they did have a paper map, but we were hungry, so let's go to the Arista right across the street. I had my eyes on the prize, the cake. 
After I had my prime rib, she knew that I had my eyes on the prize and brought this big platter. The lights, the lemon, the chocolate, and the coconuts. Mom, which one do you want? We've got German chocolate, red velvet, double chocolate cake. After devouring the cake, we took more pictures. Mom, what do you think of this wind? Oh, this wind. Wind. I'm not sure how it's going to feel driving in it, but we'll get out of it. Almost to Missouri, we had to question ourselves. My wife. Are you about done with uh, Route 66? No, I'm, I'm good. No? Whatever it takes to make your dream come true, we don't do it. Dream? Dream. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but this is one hell of a dream right here. It should be. Just south of Litchfield, you see this place? It's the antique store. Mm -hmm. El Trumpy. Are you gonna get out? My buddy Dave told me about a sign that was on the Trump statue and said, Hey, no matter what you believe in, just take a picture. Don't mess up my thing. Is this the godfather of YouTube? Mr. Beast? We had to take our picture with Big Boy. Look, we're twins. Two big boys. Big old belly. Well, let's get out of here. We have reservations at the Arch and we're running late. Well, we might have missed our exit and had to make a time frame. So we're here at the Gateway Arch. Um, and we're now in Missouri. Woo! Mom, what do you think? I think this is great. What's hey, great? Going up in the, in the arch. And I, I'm not as scared as I did, as I was to get on the lock, the ledge. If I can do that, I can do this. Oh yeah. This is enclosed, we're going up on the elevator. I'll be there for a little bit. So mom, what do you think? I think this is great. I'm scared to death, but not as scared as I was to get out on that ledge. But this is interesting. It's a different perspective than I thought it was going to be. I thought we'd be going this way up. Uh -huh. But basically watching us go up, it's a little different. Not as bad, right? But you know what? I, I want to believe that it's not. Yeah. It's a lot too. It's a California simulator right here, Mom. As you can tell, she was not ready for the swaying. She wouldn't get close to the windows or anything. So now that you're up there, what do you think? I think it's great. It's fascinating. It, everyone should try this, but if you're not ready for the sway. What about the sway? What's going on? The sway caught me off guard. How many inches? One inch. This is about maybe half an inch either way. But you can, it feels like it's five or six feet. So are you going to lean up against it? No. Uh -uh. Because you can't or because you won't? I can't. I don't think I got it on camera, but she did finally end up leaning up against the window. Pretty cool. So we packed back into our sardine can and went down. What? Oh, this way, this way. That's why. 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 I don't know about you guys, but Mama F6B is very brave. That was really scary. Well, we were done with that, so now off to lunch. Well, we were done with the arch, had lunch, it's time to go eat up more miles. 
So we made it to a small delay in the road. The map said to go this way. I don't know about you, but I can't go that way. We could try, but... Look at the river, that's pretty nice. All right, Mom, with being essentially a quarter of the way done with the trip, maybe half of the way done, and running into this, what do you think? Hmm. I think I would be scared if that was our next road. Okay. It'd be a bumpy road. Day turned into night, so we needed to find a nice but cheap hotel. $68 plus tax. Well, if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and everything. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind on making these videos, but it is what it is. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um, we're ending in Rolla, Missouri, I believe. Yes. So see you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.